to prove that this application is not fake news here on the stage, we're going to do a live demo so you can see it. I think it's a yes. good time for us to go see the app. All right. And uh, so th this is the news. Yeah? And forgive me, sometimes some pictures, especially around crises and, and casualties, may show up. So if it shows up, forgive us, guys. Uh, we, we don't control the news. Yeah? This is real. All right. So what you see here are four channels. A user can define their own channel. So here I predefined four channels. The first one, we call it a crisis. Uh, there is no terms. It's just based on uh, in the uh, newest and the past 24 hours. We, I see it up to be loose in the facts. So show me things that look like rumors. Show me things that are not necessarily accurate, etc. And underneath it, you see some of the events that we are capturing. The next one is trending, and you see the live updates because I'm hovering here on top of it. The updates stopped so that I can see it. This cluster contains 7,968 tweets. Uh, if you click on it, it's about the shooting that happens in a French school. I think... Uh, that just happened this morning. Yes, that just happened this morning. So this is live. You can see the, the concepts and the topics that we algorithmically extracted um, and other concepts, etc. This means that it's newsworthy. This means that we believe it's true. Yeah? Um, we defined a couple of more clusters, uh, crises, bomb, blast, etc. We defined one on Trump taxes. So if you click on the, on the actual cluster, you see... I actually built this channel this morning with yes, college. Yes, you did. <laughs> so uh, this is running live. Yeah? And so to answer the original question, how accurate is it in detecting, distinguishing between fake news, rumors, and actual news? On the news stories, we are about 84% accurate. On tweets, on even that has at least five tweets, not 500, just five, we can distinguish between rumors and true assertions of facts with 78% accuracy. And Khaled, who are the users of this? Who, who sits in front of the screen? So th this, is, this is meant, initially was meant to scale our journalists. Yeah, they can't monitor the news live from fire hose. They can't set up keywords. It's just too noisy. So we have journalists who set up these channels, and they monitor them for a newsworthy. So a journalist in Lebanon who has yes. interest about local things can say, these are the, these are the topics, and these are the, the, yes. the information I trust, and build their own channel. Absolutely. Yep. And they monitor it live. And everything here is indexed and searchable and all kind of analytics on top of it that you can imagine. Uh, in addition to um, journalists, this is running live with our financial customers. Uh, we define sort of channels that has a potential to move the market or relevant to our financial customers, and they consume it live without any human intervention with a veracity score to tell them, you know, maybe it's not completely true, maybe it's true, and so forth.